We got roaches. I'm gonna have to lay out a few traps. I'll heat up the pan. Welcome to Hat and Mouth. Really excited for today. Our downstairs neighbor Julio is having a party. It's Richard, assholes, and you're not invited. Did you hear that? We're all invited. Such a nice guy, that Julio. Fuck you guys. Anyway, we all know you don't show up to a party empty-handed, so we're bringing some tequila. At least, we think it's tequila. We found it in the back of the fridge, and it smells kind of alcoholic. Tequila is Spanish for technically alcohol, so... Also, we're making guacamole, so uh, let's get our ingredients together. So we just need two avocados, a chopped onion, tomato, garlic, lime juice, salt, and pepper. And instead of a bottle of lime juice, just get a lime and squeeze it out yourself. Save yourself a couple of bucks, plus you can use the pulp for other recipes. As for the salt and pepper, that's the kind of thing you should always have in your kitchen. But if you don't, your neighbor probably does. I said, your neighbor probably does. I think he's ignoring us. Oh, well. I guess I'll just have to take a long trip to the little boy's room. There we go. You're the reason your father left. Now we just need our avocados. <gasps> Garden? Garden. Hey, Garden, what you reading? Sart, uh, I'm getting a head start on the required reading for my philosophy degree. That's cool. Can we dig through your hair for vegetables? Yeah! Oh, cool! Two avocados! That's a good fruit right there. Uh, uh, lots of diverse fats, potassium, ton of B vitamins. Uh, led to the great avocado price flight of 2011. Oh yeah, I remember that. Avocado prices skyrocketed for a bit. You had to spend four or five bucks just to get one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh, Things have calmed down a bit, but uh, people have to find some alternatives. Like what? Well, Peas is an option, or, or broccoli if you cook it and then chill it. Ooh, I like broccoli. No, not in guacamole. Oh, don't be a baby. All right, fine, but it stays on your side of the kitchen. Well, bye, I guess. So the first step to guac is taking your vegetable and making it into mush. So peel and mash your avocados in a bowl. The broccoli option takes a little more work. You're going to need a blender. That's a blender? Crazy lady at Goodwill said it was a blender. Lady who says everything's a blender? That's the one. So, throw in your broccoli and hit puree. But now we're on broke eats, and that means we're gonna do it for real. That's right, which means I need to actually chop this up. While Mark's chopping the broccoli, I'm gonna give you a crash course on how to peel an avocado. We'll go with that. So what are you doing there, James? So the big thing is that avocados have a gigantic seed in the center, and you don't want to try to cut through that. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you just push the knife in until you feel resistance, and then you roll the avocado down the side of the blade until you've cut it all the way around. Then just twist and pull, and voila, beautiful, beautiful green fat jello. <laughs> this is horribly unsafe, but is the way I was taught by my grandmother. I almost chopped my finger off. What are you... Oops, almost did it again. What, what are you doing? I got the seed out. Now, there are many ways to get the rest of it out, but I like to do it like a manimal. I think yes. I cut my finger. Huh, are you bleeding into your guacamole right now? Probably not. Okay, we'll just call that spice. <laughs> Bonus, when you squeeze it out with your hands, you get to do this. Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna have to go for round two. No. Why don't you keep doing the broccoli? Mm. Mm. Uh, uh. Anyway, with the broccoli, the thing is, people love to throw this little bit away, the stem. You don't have to do that. This thing is edible. Why not use it? <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Apparently, apparently our crew is slightly <laughs> disgusted by me licking my hands like a cat. It, it, it's, well, camera three is vomiting right now, so... <laughs> <laughs> Don't throw the stem away. Now, it is more bitter than the rest of the broccoli. The florets are usually a little bit more savory. This stuff tends to be more bitter, but you can still use it. And let's be honest, you're too broke to go around wasting food. Is this that? All right, I'll finish mashing that in a moment. Okay. But first, 
I think it's time to give you a crash course on how to chop a tomato. First, you need something sharp. Then, uh, you need a tomato. Okay. Now, you need to cut the tomato. Now, wait, wait, a wait. restaurant will tell you that this needs to be fancy and polished and super nice, but that's a lot of crap. The only thing you actually have to do is take a full tomato and make it into small bits of tomato. Do and we, that is pretty easy. Do we have raincoats? Please tell me we have, oh God. Just keep hitting it until it's small enough. Chopped tomato. You can always scoop it back up and just roll over the entire mass of the tomato, chopping willy-nilly in both directions. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm in no way trained to do any of this. Would you like some tomato? Please, give me some tomato. I will have some tomato on mine too. Oh, thank you. Now the onion actually requires a little bit of finesse. All right. Onions are a little trickier than tomatoes. Tomatoes are easy and soft, pliable like a newborn. Mm -hmm. Onions are harder, like an old man who's been seasoned by the sea. Yeah. So first, chop it directly in half. Then chop it in half again. You might wanna, hmm? you're gonna, mm, oops. Mm, it was... No, it's good. Oh, that didn't go again. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, mm, And remember, mm. you don't have to be perfect. I uh, probably should have peeled it first. Yeah, that would. But I don't worry nice. about that sort of thing. Honestly, Ow. with the onion, the peel isn't really that important since it's rings anyway. You can just take it off when you're done cutting. All right. So I'm going to show you on this piece of onion that I didn't obliterate exactly how you should chop an onion. So first, take your peel off mm -hmm. because that's not edible or tasty. I think. See that I've left the nub on here. Now that nub keeps this entire onion together. So we want to keep the onion, all of it, attached right there. So what we do is, we just cut into the onion almost to that center point, but not all the way. This means that all of these strips stay nice and together, which makes them much easier to chop at the end. Mm -hmm. Now as you're doing this, you're probably going to get hit with that wave of onion smell. Now, that's going to probably sting your eyes a little bit, maybe make you start tearing up. Uh, the easiest way to avoid that is to man up. Then just chop this way, and kabam, tiny onion pieces. Delicious. Delicious. Mm -hmm. And oh. all made with a single cleaver from the dollar store. Not too much onion in your guacamole. You're yeah. not making onion salad. I'm going to go ahead and start this little broccoli slurry smoothie deliciousness. You mean you're not guacamole? Now, what's fun is we have a couple of options here, because we can either grate it, we can blend it, we can grind it, or we can liquefy. Which one makes it into an avocado I want to eat? I'm going to go with blend. Button. Hmm. It's making a burning smell. If you're having trouble yep. getting your broccoli to grind, it's sometimes worth doing something I saw somebody do on the Food Network once that's horribly dangerous and very, very likely to get you to lose a limb. But it might work, so let's no, try. No, this is... No, we do not necessarily suggest this here. It's only a little spark, it's fine. If it's giving you a little bit of trouble, try adding a little liquid. A little lime, maybe? A little lime. Or somebody from off ha camera could hand me some water. This is the worst idea I've ever heard of it in my life. It is called a smoothie. No, Don't you is, enjoy smoothies? There's no smoothie made out of broccoli. Broccoli is not a word. No, it's not. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and go. liquid pot. Nope, no, no, no. Try again. Yeah, we're getting movement. No, but, 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 but. <laughs> Getting some movement. Now, James, take the hatchet out for a moment. We're going to switch it over to a higher level real quick. We're also going to put the top on real quick. What? Where'd the other part of the lid go? That's my hand. Now. It's cool. 
There we go. All right. There you go. Beautiful. All right. Now it's time to peel the garlic. Now, if you guys haven't peeled garlic before, there's a lot of really easy ways to do it. Mm -hmm. One of the best is to take two metal mixing bowls, put them together, and shake it. But we don't have two metal no. mixing bowls. So we're just going to have to peel it the old-fashioned way. With which our is hands. to say, violently. All right. So, time to gracefully and delicately peel our garlic. And now, please. It's clobbering time! And you can see I've split the various garlic pods, and we can now just tear the paper right off. And with that, we have delicious garlic for our delicious guacamole. If you've got some old garlic, which we do here, and you probably will too if you're shopping where we shop, you're going to find a little shoot in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and take that out and toss it away. Now, chop the garlic and become an Italian diner for the next two days. Mm -hmm. Garlic, onion, tomato, and avocado. A classic and delicious guacamole that doesn't have any bullshit broccoli in it. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> I'm gonna add just a touch of salt. Right. And a touch of pepper. Mm -hmm. And if you can afford it, garlic salt is your best friend with guacamole. It can really add a lovely kick. Now, after you have all your ingredients prepared in your bowl, it's time to blend them. I like to do it with my hands. Mm. Oh, oh, mm. James. Ooh. James. No, we're just ooh, we're just oozing into it, you know, mm. like a like a second date foot rub. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, mm. yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, is your broccoli guacamole not sexually satisfying in the way my typical guacamole is? Look, all right, mm. you may just go in, but I prefer to take my guacamole out on a mm -hmm. nice romantic dinner first. Yeah, how does that go? Yeah, it goes well, mm. thank you. Okay. Mm. Uh, the crew is again giving me paper towels. <laughs> I believe they are attempting to avoid having to wash me lick my hands clean. <laughs> As if I were Winnie the Pooh caught in a honey tree. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, crew. There's no hope for you. No mm -hmm. joy left. Now, while Mark finishes, I'm going to clean my hands. Okay, I'm going to need you all to do me a favor. I'm going to need you to tell me when this is done, because I'm not going to look up. Um. I'm not even going to look to the left. I'm going to my happy place. Hello, happy place. It's good to see you again. Oh, look, there's a giant robot shooting out rainbows. It's fucking awesome. And now I've got a cupcake, a chocolate chip cupcake. Oh, it's so good. Oh, James. Huh? Why are you eating my cupcake? Mm -hmm. How'd you get into my giant robot, uh, James? James, mm -hmm. please. Mm. Uh. <laughs> the best part of it is it kind of makes your hand into like a lollipop because it never really comes all the way off. Uh. Mm. Are you done? Oh, okay. Well, I guess I can wipe my hands off the rest of the way. You know, for, for time's sake, for you guys. So there we go, we have made a guac. You're gonna to want to chill this for about 30 minutes or so to get the best flavor. And editing power, activate! And really, that's all there is to it. But you don't wanna be some lame yank, do ya? Spice that guac up. I added some jalapenos and a touch of hot sauce to make a guacamole with some real kick for men and women with rough edges. Yeah, once you've made a basic guac, you can flavor it to your preference. Experiment. Find something cool. Julio, we made delicious guac. Are we still not invited to your party? We also have suspicious bad fresh tequila. Fine, bring the tequila, stay for five minutes, then get the fuck out. You're such a good friend with a really soft couch that I am totally gonna pass out on. Damn it, I'm calling the bed. I hope you both fall down the stairs. guys, James here. We're gonna just show you how to make the spicy guac from our uh, episode this week. Yep. So it's basically the same as all the other guacamole. Now, mm -hmm. 
the crew has given me a fork this time is apparently don't, they don't want to watch me lick guacamole off of myself like a honey bear. But that's fine. Whoa. That's fine. Wait, you did that? So we can just go ahead and mash it right here in a bowl with a fork like we're a respectable citizen. Why do I, like, have this odd blank period of, like, five minutes during the filming of our last episode? Hmm? It's like, I remember putting the broccoli into this. Do you remember when we did body avocado shots? No, no, no. It's like I that suddenly... Was hot. Wait, what? Hmm? We did... Huh? Who? Huh? So, Mark's going to finish mashing up this avocado while I get on to the main event. Now, this is what's going to make this guacamole delicious. Jalapeno. Now, a lot of people will tell you to take out the seeds. That's because they're whips. I'm from Texas, so I leave them in. Here's something to note, though. Once you start chopping up a hot pepper like this, you're going to get capsaicin all over your hands. So you don't want to rub your eyes, your nose, or anywhere else sensitive. You'll end up burned. You don't want that. And for the idiots who don't know how to use a search engine, uh, what is capsaicin? Capsaicin is the chemical inside hot peppers that makes you think your mouth is on fire. Mm-hmm. Now, if you did want to receive, re take the seeds out, and you shouldn't because, come on, you're a tough person. Be a man. You could or cut it like man. this, let it out sir, like this, and then you just cut into the pepper a bit, and then scoop, cutting directly towards your fingers. Never do that. Nope. Both sides. A lot like a bell pepper, really. Mm. Bang. And just to reinforce what James was saying earlier, as he cut that open, there was this wave of jalapeno scent that just nailed me in the face. So it's pretty potent. But so again, don't cut towards your hands, especially with jalapeno. You get capsaicin in an open wound. That's not going to be fun. Now, no. there's still some seeds in here. The nice way to do is just run your finger down, let them out. But I'm a monster. No more seeds. <laughs> now just chop the jalapeno into nice big chunks so you get a little bit of that nice fresh crunch in your uh, guacamole. Mm -hmm. I got bored. And then toss it right into your spice. There you go. Now you're going to add a little extra ingredient to this, are you not? Next, we're just going to toss in just a drop or two of hot sauce. There you go. According to Mark. Which to James means, until Mark makes you, him stop. You, you can stop now. You can stop. James. And good. It smells like hot sauce soup. And there you go, guys. A nice spicy guacamole that's going to be great on all kinds of different foods. Mm -hmm. Or as a dip, or just by the spoonful, like baby food. <laughs> Yeah, the nice thing about guacamole is, as you can see, it's a very easy base ingredient, so you can take it and just mix it up and make it your own. So have fun, guys, and enjoy a spicy guacamole made by a Texan, not some stupid Yankee from Boston. Why, why you always gotta make this about the Civil War, man? It's over. Because we lost! And it sucked. Yeah. For you. Well, I mean, to be fair, probably better that we lost. But and anyway... Yeah, in the long run. Anyway, yeah. enjoy your spicy guacamole. Oh, right. <laughs> as, the crew, <laughs> as the Actually, crew. Actually, this, this is a point. Yeah. The crew just asked me if I'm going to add onions and tomatoes to this guacamole. And right. I can, but I actually don't like uh, uh, tomatoes in my guacamole all the time. It can water it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And the onions can get a little watery, too. I often like a guacamole that's just avocado. However, right. for the purposes of today, mm -hmm. we're going to sprinkle a little in. So you're going to sprinkle that in? Sprinkle. Did that, you know tomatoes don't sprinkle super well? OK, James, you don't. Sprinkle. What are you doing? <laughs> Sprinkle. <laughs> Sprinkle. <laughs> Sprinkle. There you go. <laughs> Sprinkle. All right. And our guacamole is complete. Done. Except for the salt and pepper. Sprinkle. James. Sprinkle. Good James. <laughs> And there we go, a nice spicy guac to go get, uh, alongside the standard guac and the delicious broccoli. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. Mm -hmm. See you next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this special master's class edition of guacamole. If you did, be sure to subscribe to Broke Eats today for more awesome comedy cooking. Not only that, check out BrokeEats.com. 
share your guacamole recipes, read other recipes submitted by other users, and hang out on the Broke Geeks community. But first, subscribe. 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 Do it. Please. Right now. We love you. Click. Subscribe. Click, 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 click. Click, 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 click